This summer looked a little different from the others. Typically, summer used to be spent chasing a glow up or a boy, chasing a skinnier, smaller, slimmer me, a better version of me. But this summer, I wanted to do and be a lot of things and smaller wasn't one of them. Instead, I wanted to be stronger, more spontaneous, studious, not that I really had a choice because I did have to do summer school all summer. Anyways, focus on self-care and solo dates and slowing down. I finally wanted to have a summer, not just a body. Why is life so amazing? Going to the gym, having some yogurt, protein, mix mix. So this summer, I found my favorite summer salad. Emptied seven jars of natural crunchy salted peanut butter, spent lots of time alone with my thoughts and my goals and my heart. I had a lot of first loves this summer. A love for chemistry, love for yogurt bowls, falling in love with like every young adult trending romance novel ever written, like I may have a problem. And most importantly, I've really just fallen in love with being myself. I'm finally chasing a happy, full, and free me, not a smaller me. While some of you may have had a summer love or fling or romance, the only relationships I was interested in this summer were the ones in my books and from the show This Summer I Turned Pretty and the one between me and myself. Healthy relationships my past weren't really my forte with other people or with myself or with food or school or even my phone. Yeah, there is something all those things have in common. And it wasn't diet culture, it wasn't toxic boys, it wasn't TikTok. It was me. Not that I'm like a problem to be fixed, more like a massive complicated project to be understood. So my biggest project recently has been me, and I think it <sighs> always will be. This is the most phenomenal salad ever. Should I wait for you? Don't mind if I do. No, so good. So this relationship with me, my mind, my body, and food has been a little teensy bit rocky. This is fire. Past year or 21 years, give or take a few. Basically, we just weren't really supporting each other the best we could. Our goals were aggressively misaligned, and we were getting a little too comfortable treating each other mediocrely. And no matter the relationship, we do not settle. But also like any relationship, sometimes it requires a little bit more love, attention, and effort. Instead of the pressure, hate, shame, resentment, frustration, and screaming that I was contributing. This is our menu? If the relationship is worth saving, and the one with yourself always is, you gotta give it 140%. Listening, communicating, forgiving, time, trying new things, new routines, new habits, new foods, and going back to the basics. To the root of it all, love. So in a way, I guess this is my version of summer love. While we're on the topic of love, let's talk about hate. <laughs> I've come to terms with the fact that I signed up to get hate when I started YouTube. And I've gotten my fair share of it for my body changing. Not even from me purposely trying to change my body, but just my body changing. And for some reason, I've realized I get a lot less hate when my body changes because of a change in my routine. And a lot more hate when I purposely change my routines to change my body. And this summer, I changed my routine to change my body. Not how it looks, but how it feels. Like making sure I eat breakfast every day no matter what I ate yesterday. More color, more crunch, more peanut butter, of course. More enjoyable workouts, more protein, more sleep, more me time. And because it's about how good my body feels instead of how good my body looks, I've learned to love the changes on my body too. I've learned to love the changes enough to not let the hate hurt me as much. Oatmeal is my go-to. It just makes me feel so good when Final Cut Pro doesn't want to work. It's fine, it's fine. It's like not fine, but like. Linda's comfort meal when nothing is working out the way she wants it to. I know, acceptance and love for your own body is hard, but restricting and self-sabotaging and hating who you are, where you are, and what you look like now is even harder on your body and your mind. Seriously, the game changer for me was shifting the focus of everything I do from how will this make me look to how will this make me feel? How will it make me feel if I feel properly? If I restrict, if I go out tonight, if I take a break from the gym, if I add more protein and fiber to my meals? What I look like doesn't matter. None of it matters if I don't feel good. Right now, I feel strong in my workouts and full of energy and I'm excited about food and I'm not thinking about it 24 seven, but my old jeans don't fit anymore and I've gained some weight and I'm not 12 anymore or 16 anymore. I'm not even who I am six months ago anymore. I've grown in so many different ways and my body has grown with me. So maybe you gained weight you were never meant to lose in the first place or weight you were meant to gain in order to live your life a little bit more freely with a better relationship with food. Maybe this is where your body is most comfortable right now. And maybe your job isn't to change wow. that but instead to embrace it. Oh my God, it. it's a moment of truth. Help. Ta -da!
better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. So all summer I've been blessed with the privilege of taking three summer school courses, plus you know I dabble in YouTube on the side and school is also starting again in the fall. In conclusion, my laptop and I have become one, to the point where I sometimes even bring my laptop to the grocery store with me. For someone who spends 18 hours a day on her laptop, it's sad how I still don't understand it. I'm always running out of storage, I have a million junk files I need to get rid of, and the computer viruses, yeah, they always get me, which is really bad because more than three fourths of my entire life is on my computer. I'm really proud to announce that I have found the solution. Clean My Mac has been the biggest savior ever. It's a software that you can download and it makes organizing and decluttering all the mess from your digital life so easy. Oh my god, I have so many things I need to delete. 770 gigabytes. It keeps track of my storage, what I should delete to make space, Re recommends how I can protect my laptop from those viruses. It saves me so much time trying to understand what the heck is going on with my laptop. It is so worth it. You can just click on the link in my description to check it out and you and your laptop can thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> so when I bought this car, it came with a little fridge, a little extra. It's perfect for holding bubble tea. Oh my god, this is so cute. Laura just told me to tell you you have something in your recycling bin, I have to go get it. I don't know, she said there was like raccoon. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. She said go quick. She no, why would I be lying? Uh, I could go like many ways. Wait, wait, this is too much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Can you? Go for it. Go like, like, do what your heart desires. Uh, oh, 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 this is a real birthday cake. Mm. You guys are amazing. Do you have a scratch? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I should have cried. I hey, cried. Oh, she's pretty. Yes. Where's my toy? Mm -hmm. Star fire. <laughs> When I'm just a little lost in the I despise everything about myself sauce, I remind myself now this may sound a little mean. No one cares. Absolutely no one cares about how you look, how your body has changed, how this arm may be a little bit longer than the other. Nobody thinks about you as much as you do or as much as you think they do. Oreo time. This is not me telling you to just get over it, but the things we hyper fixate on, like our bodies or how much peanut butter I may have consumed, mm -hmm. how much we exercise, how big our butts are, our GPA, the weird noise I made in class yesterday and then how everyone oh. stared at me afterwards. It feels so heavy to us. It feels like the end of the freaking wow. world sometimes. But are other people hyperfixating on my roles or what I looked like walking down the street at 4.56 p.m. yesterday or that Linda ate three too many Reese's Cups last night? No. Other people are too busy hyperfixating on their own butts, guys. So do more things for you. Live your life for you the way you want to because no one else is watching except you. Impress yourself. Look good for you. Feel good for you. Don't shrink yourself down to a couple of numbers, meals, clothes, and another person's opinion of you. Our world's just become so much bigger when we focus on how we feel and not how we look. In this movie of mine called Linda's Awkward Little Beautiful Average Amazing Life, I'm kind of stuck watching it for the rest of time whether I like it or not. Wait, is that sausage? This is sausage. You no, know what they make sausage with? No, Linda. Intestine. Okay, Linda. This looks like an intestine. <laughs> And I don't want to watch me not eat what I want or try to fit into smaller clothes, hate my job and my routine and be half the person I can be just to look a certain way. It just sounds like a really 
terrible movie. Instead, I'd rather watch myself laugh at my horrendous interactions with the male species, cry in public while reading Colleen Hoover novels, grab pizza and drinks at 2 a.m. with my friends, and jump out of bed in the morning because I'm so excited to eat my peanut butter. Just make this movie a worthwhile time for yourself. So excited. I've gained so much in the past couple of months. More yeses and less isolation, more food freedom and less empty tummies and hearts and conversations, more appreciation for my body and less punishment through exercise, more chemistry terminology than I will ever need, more pizza and pasta and ice cream and bigger peanut butter scoops and meals out and more me. And when I look in the mirror, surprisingly, I don't see someone with a bigger body, but someone with a bigger life. I wanna cheers too. I'm genuinely happy to welcome a little bit more Ooh. of me because at the same time, I'm welcoming a happier and fuller and more mm. balanced version of me too. Dear one of my summer romances, Jim, I didn't know it was possible to love you more than I already did, but for some reason, the more time we spent together and the more parts of you I explored, the more in love I became. You never failed to make me feel beautiful and powerful, even in my ugliest <sighs> moments. You are my safe place, but still challenge me. I love how I can be fully transparent with you, you know, scream, grunt, punch, cry, and lean on you and sweat all over you. You accept me in all my different moods. Maybe this is what true unconditional love is. But no, seriously guys, in all honesty, the gym has become such a key part of my life. Even on my busiest days, I will make time for some kind of movement. When I need a little space, I'll take it, and I know it'll still be there for me when I come back. I, I did it. I've been working out for like over a decade now. I've played sports, ran, danced, rode, done dozens of workout programs to lose weight, to get toned, to get abs, to get a bigger butt, to be healthy, to allow myself to eat. Like my body has been through it. And I'm at this point right now where I feel so grateful to just be able to move and take care of my body. And feeling strong has never felt better. Whether that's upping the weight or just simply getting out of bed, getting through the hard days, hard thoughts, hard reps, whatever it is, I've truly fallen in love with that feeling. My growing love for the gym and my body this summer oh. made me realize I've never loved myself and my body enough to really love the gym because I never went there out of love in the first place. Mm. Bucky, Bucky. Mm. Beautiful! Beauty. Oh, mm. Mm. Isn't life more enjoyable when you eat carbs? That took me one second of looking at your camera. I just kicked my camera. I thought I broke it. There was actually just a switch that I did not know existed. Goodness gracious, guys. I've been searching for confidence my whole freaking life. And all this time, I was looking in the wrong places. I thought I'd find it in longer hair, straighter teeth, better clothing, a cooler social life. But really, what I needed all along was just self-acceptance. And I'm proud to say that I've been looking in the mirror and smiling at a little bit more bloated me and saying, it's okay, that's normal. Thanks for digesting my yogurt for me today. Summer school grind. Smiling at my underarm jiggle and saying, it's okay, that's normal. Thank you for letting me do push-ups today. It's been a while, I'm hungry. My ears are also bleeding. Went to the market yesterday. Fresh strawberries. Smiling at my belly folds and saying, it's okay, it's normal. Thank you for keeping me alive today. Hi, new granola. It's a Brain fuel. My favorite place to sit and manger. Cheers. It's lunch, and I made myself another yogurt bowl. This is like reality. I don't know how people make their food look pretty every single meal. This is what I look like 98% of the time. And even when I'm trying to make it look pretty, it doesn't really turn out that pretty. That's okay. Oh, that's a good pizza. This is a yogurt bowl kind of day. I love eating just sitting here, staring at the view. You are welcome to join me. So peanut buttery. I love how it's half peanut butter, half oat. <sighs> Had to stop waiting for the world or someone or everyone to accept me and start working on accepting myself. I stopped focusing on all the physical attributes I lacked. Oh, put you down. 
and instead appreciated the health that I have. I started noticing how my imperfect body was really quite perfect all along. Because no relationship is perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect to deserve love. Love has meant a lot of things to me over the past year. Relying on others to love me because I didn't want to love myself. Loving myself meant changing my body. Love felt like something I had lost. So it was something that I had to find in a career, views, money, food, a body, a person. Love had to be earned. Love was only reserved for days where I was good, productive, when my video did well, when I didn't read a hate comment, when I didn't make too many mistakes. Love was in food and only food for a little while. Love was confused with distraction, obsession, boredom. Love is weird. Love was in friendships, acts of kindness, random text messages, meals with my mom in books and YouTube, and it still is. There's such a long list of people and foods and parts of life that I love, but I don't know if I was ever on that list. We can find love in people and achievements and careers and fictional characters, and none of it will be enough until you really decide to love yourself. I have to love myself, and I still have to smile and make slightly inappropriate noises when I eat delicious foods, as if I'm filming even when I'm not. I have to lie in bed for four days straight because I'm exhausted to my core until I feel like living again. Sometimes I have to use watching a sad movie as an excuse to cry. Oh, they gave us more bread. Oh my God, they gave us so much extra bread. Like five slices. I have to spend $7 on one coffee at a cafe because life's too short. So crunchy and juicy. Oh, like I have to turn on Do Not Disturb on my life, not just my phone. I have to stop taking everything everyone says to me so freaking personally, and I have to stop taking myself so freaking seriously. I have to eat the snack even if no one else is hungry. I have to stop letting myself get upset about things that won't matter in two years and slowly move on from that relationship that ended two years ago. I have to ruin my sleep schedule to catch up with a friend sometimes. Guys, this is so cute. So much summer vibes is happening right now. Gelato date. <laughs> summer. Never been happier. I love life. I love gelato. I love sassy sleep turtles. <laughs> what I'm serving at my wedding. I'm gonna have an open gelato bar instead of an open alcohol, alcohol bar. <laughs> I'd be into that. Why is life so amazing? I have to change if I don't like the way I'm living, but I also have to accept that I've changed because I'm finally living the life that I want. I have to say, screw it. Love yourself now, love yourself first, love yourself regardless. Love yourself with or without them, love yourself bigger or smaller, love yourself. And the best part is, no one can take this love away from me. It's entirely mine. This was just a little glimpse into the summer. I studied like a maniac, ate everything that I wanted, saw a total of five people, read a total of 50 books, ate a total of 500 yogurt bowls, and it was a summer where instead of chasing a body, I chased myself. Instead of finding someone to love, I found ways to love myself. Instead of shrinking, I decided to grow. And I hope your summer was your own version of the same.